Hello, hello, hello. I hope people are well tonight. It's good to see you on. Mini Mommy in Crimson. And let me kill my sound here now that I know that it's working. Okay. I hope people are well. I'm well. Survived another Monday. <sighs> Ready for some painting. Um, and after this, I'll probably pop off and go watch more Olympics because I'm an Olympic junkie. <laughs> Although I call it the Geek Olympics because it's in Japan and they've had geek references. So I was all excited about that. So I'm going to, obviously I'm continuing work on this. I'm getting close. It's actually getting pretty close to being done. I have some more shrooms here and there are leaves here, there, and everywhere that I want to kind of nail down tonight. And then after that, probably lighten up the, the antlers a bit and maybe I'll highlight a little more uh, off stream. And then it'll be basing it. So hopefully I'll get it done. <laughs> Supposed to get it done by the end of July. So here we are on what the oh today's twenty six. So actually, when the heck is August first? When is August first? Let's see, thirty days have so for afternoon. So it's thirty one days this month. Actually, I could just cheat. There is a calendar back there. So it's like next Monday, isn't it? Or Sunday? Wait, is it Sunday? Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. Hello, Ultra Squid. Thank you so much. So, yeah. Oh, I got to get it done in two streams. Sprack! It's Sprack Attack. Hi, you Sprack. How are you doing? Oh. And even though Pete the Hydrator, I don't think is around because it's kind of late. He's on the other he's on the other side of the pond. I'm still gonna hydrate. Oh, I realized I forgot something. Hang on. I will run right it's just right over there. I just gotta go grab my palette. <laughs> oh. Knew I was gonna forget something. glasses and make sure I get the right ear okay ear piece and a palette because you know you really need something to put your paint into especially when it's these dropper bottles let's say okay sorry I didn't make it last week that's okay but it was raining I didn't want to be gimpy in the rain that's okay Sprague you don't have to, there's there's no law that says you have to be here I do, I do enjoy the company though. So, there are like, there are a bunch of leaves all over this thing. So some leaves there, there's some leaves there, and some there. And I'm not sure what that is, that might be the thing I keep looking at up top that looks like kind of like a rock. But it's not a rock. Leaves there. So I think I'll start with some leaves. Let's see. Ultra Squid says, I need to find where to put that guy. I painted the Spear of the Force years ago, but I'm not really satisfied with it. Oh, well, I hope you find it. I mean, although I tend to, once I finish something, I'm in the camp of, if I finish something, I'm done with it. I don't want to go back to it. Um, even if I'm not totally happy with it, I don't want to see it again. <laughs> you know why? Because I've got like 1,500 new mini. I've got hit 1,500 unpainted minis in my shelf of shame. Thank you so much for following. I'm going to assume that's Rage Wolf. R-G-E Wolf. Unless that's somebody's initials, but Rage Wolf sounds pretty badass. Appreciate the follows. Hello and welcome to my stream. And uh, we're going to hope, by the way, that my internet isn't being weird. I feel like things are sort of being slow. 
so we'll find out. <laughs> if I drop out of stream, never fear, I'll get back on. Uh, B2 mostly. Hello, Rod! And it said, hello, uh, it said hello, and hello, Rage Wolf or RGE Wolf. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lots of things to paint. Well, I'm a sucker for the Reaper Kickstarters. So, <laughs> so you know where that probably goes, right? Especially since you know Spear of the Forest and Reaper. So you probably are fully aware about those Kickstarter things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My, my best friend's Kickstarter just showed up today. So... It's all sitting in my living room because he's he's moving he's moving so we didn't want to change the shipping thing. Oh my God! It's Jared's. Hey Jared! Oh my God! Hello and hello, Capmaster. Was that a countdown that you were trying to do? <laughs> Thank you so. Oh my gosh! Here we go with the followers. Thank you so much for following Green Thirteen. Aha! That's good. I can read. Uh, I can read, um, yeah, what are those? Roman numerals. <laughs> it's okay if your timing is awful. I don't care. I appreciate the raid, and I appreciate the follows. Holly? Oh, my God. It's Holly Monster. Holly Monster. I, oh, my gosh. You have a mini that was made ab after you. Oh, my God. That's like, Yeah. And I love that mini, by the way. Um, some point, I'll have to get it. Hi, Scotch and Hobbies. It's been a while with Big Boss Waztech. And oh my goodness. Ha hello, hello, hello. By the way, if you don't know me, and you may not, I'm fairly new to the whole streaming thing. My name is Carol, otherwise known as Muses Touch Miniature Painting. I've been doing this for about 20 years. Well, not streaming. I've been painting for about 20 years. Hi, Bunny Lovins. I'm going to keep interrupting myself to to address people in chat. Um, I've been paying for like 20 years. Finally decided to get into streaming and found this is the greatest community ever. Uh, holy crap, Holly Monster's here. I love, as I said, I love all you guys. I love this community. It's the best. And holy miracle, I have more people in this chat right now than ever before. So welcome. And what am I doing tonight? Uh, I am doing... Let's see, I'm doing Spirit of the Forest because it's a challenge. Uh, it's a community paint challenge run by Theraval. Uh, that's the name of the, that's his name on Twitter. So it's, it's literally spelled like that. It's kind of, it's kind of getting to the end of July. It's, I got to have him finished by the end of July, which I realize is Sunday. So we'll see if I make it. I'm going to have to probably do some work off stream. Um... I love this mini, but there's so much to it. Um, I'm happy with them. Uh, which, we all oh, see, I got these mushrooms and I got these mushrooms. And then I got these little ones I paint up as button mushrooms. Which ones? So, is uh, I say, oh my gosh, I don't know what to say. This there's, there's so many of you out there for me. Thank you so much for following Shade of the Crusades. I love this. So... Where am I going with this? So tonight I'm doing the leaves. Because, you know. And I'll tell you what. We'll see if I've recovered from that. Years ago, I painted. It's a, I can't remember what it was called. But it's a Warhammer mini or a Warhammer fantasy mini. And it also was like, it was a, it was a guy with a horn and a million, 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 million leaves all over him. And I got so sick of doing leaves. Just like Capmaster gets so sick of doing those rivets. So I'm going to paint my leaves. I'm going to try to vary them up a bit because what fun is it if they're all the same color? If you have any questions for me, by the way, if you, oh, I, let's see, here we go. I'm link friendly. Uh, please post work uh, that you guys are doing. I will gladly share with the class. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, I probably should do some shout outs. So let's see, although you guys probably all follow each other and I probably need to follow Holly Monster. <laughs> Let's see, let's see. So there's, I'll start since he's right there. At Catmaster, he's, these are all, a bunch of these, bunch of you guys are all streamers. All right, and then of course there's, and if I miss somebody, please let me know. There's Big. <laughs> I'm basically just hitting the ones that I know stream. Okay. 
Oh my god, there's so many of you on here right now. Let's see, I think Scotch and Hoppies you stream, don't you? Let's see. Uh, this is this is the time when it would be useful to actually have a um, have an actual moderator to type this in so I could actually paint. <laughs> Let's see. That's Jim. I know Holly Monster, of course. Uh, she does. As I like, you know, as actually what Chris from CG Mini Painting likes to say, follows are free. So go follow all these awesome people and anyone else I may miss too on here. Uh, what did I got you? All right. Let's see. Who else? I don't know who else I'm missing here. There's there's so many of you in chat. <laughs> Jared's, of course, the person that raided me. How could I forget that? Jared, are you still around, by the way? Because I have a question I want to ask you. Dio! Oh my gosh, Dio. Wait a minute, wait, wait, we need to do this. We need to do this. Let's see if it works. Hmm? <laughs> Yes, it works! Okay, everybody always, there's a thing in this circle about um, banning Dio. So there you go, Dio. I made you a command. Aldo, you can ban whoever you want. <laughs> You're never banned in my heart, Dio. Jared, uh, the question I was going to ask you, I don't suppose you got your giveaway mini yet, did you? Thank you so much for following, Big Boss Waztech. Now I'll actually start doing it. <laughs> I thought of the wittiest thing I could say, think of. <gasps> you did? Oh, I'm so happy you got it. Oh, good. Because I I totally, like, meant to, you know, send you the tracking info and I just never did. <laughs> oh, my God. So thank you. For, and thank you for following anyone else who posted. And if I missed you, believe me, it's just because chaos. Oh my god, I'm so I'm so glad you got it. And you know what? That will not be the last giveaway. Um, once I get there, I will be doing a giveaway when I hit 50 subs too. I just haven't determined the nature of the giveaway, whether or not I'm going to just paint something up on stream. Or if I'm going to... Um, or if I'm going to actually do it as a commission. Either which way, you can win a piece of art from me if you're a subscriber at the time I do the uh, do the drawing. Um, otherwise, you can also, if you if you like my work and you want to see more of it, you can always follow me on Twitter. The links are all here. I don't think I do, but so everything is like at muses underscore touch. All right, yes, by all means, lurk. Oh yeah, it's. I try to, to not lurk when I get to someone else's stream, mostly because I don't have anything else to do. But tonight, as I was saying before, I'm an Olympic junkie. <laughs> I love the Olympics. So um, I will probably go watch them when I'm done with this. I'm also still kind of tired. Work is still a bear. I, I don't think I'm ever going to get out of the pile of work I've got at work. Which I guess means job security. But still. So I'm basically putting this like a fairly, I guess you could say desaturated green on some of these leaves. I'm going to leave those like that. Like I said, I want to vary my leaves up a bit. So let's see what I put it on. I put it on. That's what those look like. Actually, I think I will add this. I'm bummed out. I was hoping to get this whole thing painted and based on stream, but I don't think, I think I'm going to have to pull it off. I keep saying that, but I like never have time to do it because I'm too busy doing daily paints and playing games and things like that. But I really do want to get it done by Sunday. Chaos Carol. <laughs> That's, yeah, sure, sure. Oh, then again, I guess that's true. Sir, oh, it, wait, surfing? They're do oh, surfing started today? Oh, I know why surfing started today. Because there's a tropical storm offshore, or that's actually probably hitting them right now. Or early yesterday, yeah. 
Oh, cool. That's why. I love you too, Rod. I would do, can't do it really hard. Um, yeah, they're doing it. I think they moved it up because of the tropical storms actually making waves for them to surf on. They were, they were going to have a problem because there was like no waves. Uh, the, the waves are, the waves are rather puny, apparently. I'm going to do these. These are all kind of seem to be connected. So I'm just basing them. So, as I said, I'm link friendly. If I've missed anything, I said just because there's so much going on chat. I don't think so, though. But um, if you have anything you'd like to share in terms of on, you know, any links, I I'm, I got rid of all the little link bands. Um, please share. Otherwise, said, ask me questions about mini painting, although probably most of you already paint. Uh, but I'm love to, I love to, you know, educate people. Let's see, Catmaster, all I've been doing today is cutting foam. Not much to share. Oh, I mean, hey, you'll have, you're going to turn that foam into something and then you will have something to share. All right, I think that's what I'm going to do for the leaves so far. I'm going to do more leaves in a minute. But I'm said, I'm going to keep these somewhat, uh, I'm going to keep these somewhat uh, more, less bright, less is said, saturated. <laughs> paint Baba Yaga's, yeah, yeah, paint Baba Yaga's um, hot, you lazy ass. So, and also, who is it? Um, thanks to gel, uh, let's say gel tab, gel tip, damn it. Thanks to him, he bought a bunch of subs last time, so I'm going to be able to add an emote to the, uh, I'm going to be able to be able to add an emote. I do have a subscriber emote, and actually I'm going to take it and throw, when I have time, I'm going to take it and throw it in the, um, uh, the section where you can unlock it for channel points too. I have a moist, I have a moist, uh, um, emote, but now I can add another. So I'm going to throw it up to chat here. So obviously, Muse, I'm, I'm, I, there's a reason why I picked the Muse as my like brand here. It's because Muses are inspirational. So one of the emotes I'd like to do is it'll say inspiration, be a little light bulb. Oh, Mini Mommy's just dis, displaying the uh, moist because moist is a big joke around here. Um, so I want to do one for inspiration, but also I'm thinking too, I want to do a band hammer with Dio written on the side as an emote. I can do all three, but I don't, which one should I do next? Do next. I will take suggestions. Please let me know what you'd like to see next. Or if you have an idea for an emote you'd like to see. Because I will do my best to fulfill it. The sad thing is, right? The sad thing is, is that in order to get more emotes, I have to, it's all you guys. It's also about subscriptions. I have to get enough subscription points to get emotes. So 15 got me unlocked the second one, 20 will unlock the third one, so on and so forth. I'm very sad that I don't have, I can't do follower emotes yet. Because I'd like to do follower ones. Um, I want to make my followers feel special too. Because you guys are. And I don't mean short bus special. I mean you guys are awesome. So now I'm highlighting these leaves. Hi, J uh, Oh, gosh. I don't know how to actually pronounce it. It's uh, Brehem? Brehem? Brem? J.N. Brem. Brem? Is that right? <laughs> I hate butchering people's names. And then I'm going to go back in for a little bit of the light color. I'm actually mixing. So the colors I'm using, let's see if I remember. I think it was, oh God. I think it was Ho, Ho Dad Green. From, this is all from like Reaper's Pathfinder line. And Bogger Green. Is this even falling on screen? Nope, of course not. I got to keep my thing down here. 
Hi, Jungle. Well, that's because I got raided here. Let's see. Let me get that. Try to actually get that. So if people want to see the number. Yeah, I got raided. And I had for a Monday night. This is crazy. I don't usually get much on Monday nights. So I'm like so thankful for the raid. And I'm so thankful to people who are continued to hang out too. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need to... Well, it said, if you have questions or anything, let me know. Other than Kevin, or a.k.a. Crimson. Crimson always asks me for five bucks when I ask if, uh, he, if, uh, if anyone has any questions. But I love to talk shop. I love to talk about mini painting. Um, I've said I've been doing this for like 20 years, and... One of the things I do is I also go and do conventions and things where I uh, introduce people to the hobby. I'm special. You stop that, Catmaster. <laughs> I am like a newbie, okay? Like, I had Holly Monster here. Now, she's special. She's actually well known <laughs> in these circles. I'm just a noob. Maybe I'll get there someday. You know, that said, uh, the stream will, the stream hopefully will, will build over time. But honestly, if I have a few of you, if I have just a few of you to chat with, that's all I really want out of the stream. Anything else is gravy. But all I really want is music. And also, I have a sound, I have the sound effects and things underneath the panel so if you want to play with them I've got freebie sound effects you don't need anything of course I got channel points and I got some ones for bits but they're cheapy bits so I must say I started very slow it took me almost three years to get right yeah I so said that's that's what I figure is that if I if I'm just me and people seem to like me uh, if I'm just nice. me and I just keep doing it yes thank you Catmaster <laughs> uh, it'll get there Oh, um, and yeah, I, oh, Holly Monster, and actually, anyone else in chat, who is going to ReaperCon? I mean, I'm going to ReaperCon, so I can meet all of you, anybody who's going to go. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. I will probably bring this guy, too, actually, and enter it in the MSP Open, among a couple other things. Some of them are in the, actually one just popped up, the, I'm going to bring that druid, and I'm going to bring the uh, Halloween night that's right after it. Wait, you're going, Big Jim? <gasps> I didn't realize you were going. Oh, this is perfect. I am so glad I added that, that, that command. <laughs> That's right. Have fun with, it, with with the things, you know, have fun with the things I throw on here. I spend time doing it. I would love to see them used. <laughs> Where was the other one? I did another leaf. Where did I do it? I think it's... Problem with too many green leaves. I'm going to do this leaf. Of course, the, um, so the one thing I found, though, is I got to watch out on those sound effects because I basically take all these videos and I stick them up on YouTube, mostly to have a place to stick them. And, um, <laughs> well, I had to remove one of those song things. I wasn't sure. I didn't, wasn't sure if it was like, you know, uh, some free to use or, so or not. You, you never know when it comes to things on the soundboard. Because it was basically muting me in the sections that it was in. I'm like, well, I don't want that to happen. So I had to get rid of the sax music. But I added a couple more on there that uh, to make up for it. So the takedowns of our music are like, holy mackerel. Jim has a place to stick them. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he does. <laughs> Dio, I wish you lived close. Actually, I wish everyone lived closer. Then you could, we could all hang out together and paint. And I am a brush licker. Although I tend to try to make sure my brush is cleaned off before I lick it. I try not to eat paint. And I'm unapologetic about 
unapologetic about this. But I am so excited. I, all of a sudden I realized that ReaperCon is coming real fast. Which way? Which thing means a lot to you? The, uh, the band, oh, the band command <laughs> or something else. Dio. I'm going to screw it up. It's, I know it's D, it's Dio, right? Not Dio or is it Dio? Cause my brain, my brain is like <laughs> Swiss cheese. It's a Monday. Just blend that in a little bit. Oh yeah, I mean, it's it. I wish I do. I mean, I'm glad I'm going to ReaperCon where I can see where I can meet people, you know, in this community. But, but it's it. And yeah, it'd be, you know, it'd be, it'd be so, it'd be awesome. I mean, I would love to, <laughs> it's pronounced, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. As we <laughs> So, actually, um, it was really cool when we had our... <laughs> That's how you pronounce it. That is... That is not true. One of the reasons... One of the things I now regret not streaming uh, earlier on in the pandemic was I lost doing conventions. Um, obviously, all the conventions went to virtual, so I couldn't run paint and takes at them. And I really missed the interaction with people. I mean, I've got an awesome husband here, you know, and so I like interacting with him and I have my best friend who was living with us until a short time ago. And I mean, they're great to interact with, but I like, I like variety. <laughs> Kevin Crimson, AKA Kevin. Carol wishes, Carol would be me, wishes I was further away. No, no, no. I mean, I appreciate the fact that you come and, uh, you come to the painting days. I mean, you know, I dig that. If nobody comes to that, it would be a total, it'd be a crappy event. But I'm still amazed we had so many people last time. It's just, it's great. And we may have more people next time. See you around, Scotch and Hobbies. I hope you come back soon. Come back and see the finale of this. Because you know what? I have to have it done on Saturday. So come back and see the, how this turns out. Because Sunday's the first of, as it was pointed out, Sunday's the first of August. And I really need to get this done by the end of July. Or I may get it done to a point, and I may work on it some more after I get it done. Like if I, you know, if I want to smooth out anything else, uh, I do said I just need to lighten the antlers. All right, so then I've got these leaves here. I think that's pretty good. Oh, I want to put a slightly brighter highlight on this thing. I go because my therapist yells at me if I don't get out of the house. Actually, Crimson, I'm pretty sure you want to go further away. Because I'm pretty sure you would like to go to Texas. I'm sure Bunny would like that too. But I'm glad that Bunny is coming here. Off to get my mini minion. May have to go get up. May have to get up tablet upon arrival. Who's your mini minion, Brem? And I still hope that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> e mini minion? He wouldn't survive in Texas? Yeah. Well, actually, DJ found out for sure that he wouldn't survive in Florida. Because <laughs> he went there to move his dad up here with him. And uh, he said, Florida's death. Because <laughs> it's so hot. And I don't blame her. All right, I'm going to go for some more colors here. Because, you know, I don't have enough greens. I'm going to start picking at different leaves. Oh, 
Oh, you're eight months. Oh, cute. Oh. Well, he's, you know, give him like a year. What's that? Eight months. A year and four months when he's about two. And then you can start him on mini painting. I've actually had one of the things that I've had happen at a con actually is uh, I've had parents bring their two-year-olds to put paint on minis and it is the most adorable thing basically you put out a line of colors for them and they just go and they put the brush in one and batter it all over the mini and then they put it in another and it becomes this really cool tie-dyed mini so it's kind of a joy to, to watch them do it you know, now I keep looking, I keep thinking these should match these, but they look like different leaves. So I want these a little bit brighter. How am I painting them here? I'm being a bad Reaper shill. <laughs> I did, oh, Linny Green, which is another path one. I actually have Leaf Green. Wouldn't it be ironic if I actually just never used the Leaf Green to paint any of the leaves? Where is my leaf green? There it is. I think at some point I'll actually use that. <laughs> right now everything's chaotic. Yeah, no, it, it is somewhat chaotic, but it is so much fun uh, to watch a two-year-old paint a mini. I do thoroughly enjoy it. Said so things like that make that whole it it just makes the experience worth it. I feel like there's more of these leaves. Where are the other leaves? There were more of those like these kind of leaves that stick out like that. Where the hell were they? I find that happens on this 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 miniature. Uh the fact that I find things on here. I also think I want to paint this one that other color. It's hard to find. Hi, Vligger Dragon! This time, I might actually remember to say your name right. It's not Vilger, it's Vligger. Hello! And how are you to this lovely evening, Vligger? Or Dragon? Anything with dragon is awesome with is okay with me. It's just V, okay V. That's right. Do you call? That's right. Yeah, I, that's right. On Discord, it's V. How am I? Oh my God, I'm fabulous. There's 32 people in chat right now. It's amazing. How are you? And did you survive Monday? All right. And have you, uh, so he did okay. For, I think that's about all we can say is I did okay for a Monday. I think that's sort of how it works on Mondays. I survived. I'll take that. The only good Mondays are when you're on vacation. The tree guy, let's see, Ultra Squid says, the tree guy that I painted, I wasn't satisfied how small it was, so I made it tall and gave it two more sets of arms. Oh my god. That must be really cool. But what, all right, so what weren't you, I'm just out of curiosity, what weren't you satisfied with the, you said you weren't satisfied with the paint job. Oh, okay. Oh, that's why I believe uh, V did so well, because she was doing a lot of playing with the puppy. Oh, by the way. I should do this. I should do this. Mm -mm, we should shout out Vligger. Oh, by the way, there is a band. There is a uh, or Vligger. I did it again, I think. V. We should shout out V. <laughs> that is the best way for me to deal with that. Just, um, just call you V.
Everybody should follow her. Uh, if you don't follow her, follow her. She is, uh, she's awesome. I've caught her. I've caught a lot of people's streams. I try to make the rounds. Um, some days I'm more successful than others. All right, that's, all right, I think that's done. So I'm vamping while I try to friggin' remember where the hell those other leaves were. I know I saw some more leaves on here. Where did they go? So that's my biggest problem with this mini is just so much detail. I suppose it's those, which I kind of want to do the same way. I don't have the patience. I say, you know what? All right, when you get back, Bram, I will address that. Because here's a secret, everybody. You notice I'm wearing drugstore readers. So, you know, I really don't have the eye safe for it anymore either. <laughs> Getting old sucks. Oh, I just feel like, you know what? I feel that exact same way on this guy. It's coming out good, but I feel like on like the bark and stuff that I want to actually boost, boost the highlights a bit more. I mean, in some ways though, I don't want to go nuts, but I do feel like they need a little more. And I said, I definitely want to lighten up these antlers. And my God, I think I see a spot right there. I see it. It didn't look like it filled in. <sighs> texture pieces, people. What can I say? The more textured they are, the more little holidays uh, tend to get left in there. Just because in some cases, like this, this is really recessed in there. All right, any other leavey things? I hear, oh, thank you, Rod. Thanks for the cheer. Ooh. Oh, you gotta go? Ah. I always love your company, Rod. I love you much. Mwah. You take care and come back. I'm, don't forget, I'll be back on Wednesday. So, and it'll be the Goblin Double Feature. Assuming Gareth is uh, indeed streaming on Wednesday. So, by the way, the Goblin Dubber feature, I'm on another Discord. You want to release the Kraken? All right, I'll release the Kraken. So I'm on another Discord for the Goblins of Mordor. I was like, I have a Kraken mini. I should get people channel points to see it. That's kind of horrifying, actually, now that I see that angle. So, Mr. Kraken. Mr. Kraken, uh, I love this. I actually really like this mini. Um, and I added, uh, looks like maybe he's getting a little dusty. He sits on my shelf. Well, he was sitting on, upstairs on my uh, shelf upstairs in my bedroom. And I moved him down here when I made the release the Kraken. By the way, I, a lot of uh, a lot of like the channel point ideas and stuff, they all come from like you guys, all you streamers, you know. I said I want to get a cowbell because I have the more cowbell. I've got to buy a cowbell. And that was, I think it's V that has the thing that says that's not a bagpipe. A <laughs> cap release is by Kraken. <laughs> I saw what you did there, Dio. And Dio, by the way, um, Dio, I will say this, Dio, you do really nice leather pieces. You do great leather work. Dio! So yeah, I have a band, I have a band command, but it's not a band Dio specific command. So if you guys want to have a band war in chat, go for it. Just type in exclamation point band and at pick a target. Kevin, Kevin banned me. How dare he? I just said, I just want this stream, A, to be somewhat educational, and B, to be a lot of fun. <laughs> and give you guys something to do while I'm sitting here painting minis. Uh, oh, look at that. 
There's a leaf. I think. Oh, maybe that isn't. It looks like a leaf. I'm going to make it a leaf. I make doing an executive decision to make that a leaf. You know what I'm going to do, though? I'm going to make it a different color leaf for funsies. I'm going to make it an orange leaf. Because why not? So I'm going to start with Numeria Rust, which actually, to me, if I was going to paint rust on something, this is such, this actually would be a great color to use. But it's also a really good dark orange. I like, I've determined, I think it was because the aforementioned Gareth is, he's also painting one of these. There's a bunch of us doing it, uh, as far as I know. And he painted his ferns all orange. I really love the color. So I've been somewhat uh, influenced. I wish he was around to hear this. Because he probably got a kick out of the fact that he influenced me. That's what I, that's what the whole inspiration. Yeah, you guys never weighed in. Should I do a Dio Banhammer as the next emote? Or should I do inspiration? Because I'm all about the inspiration. Uh, I like to inspire people to paint, and I think you guys all inspire me. It does not matter how long you've been painting. Now that I look at that, that does not look like a leaf. I don't like it as a leaf, darn it. So I'm going to see if I can, if I can't scrape the paint off, I, well, I'll scrape off the paint. If worse comes to worse, I'll just go over it with the colors. They haven't sitting out there. You want the inspiration? All right, I'll do inspiration. Well, the two people said inspiration. So I'm going to make a little light bulb. And I'll put, probably put inspiration across it. I hope you guys like the moist one. Oh, and by the way, uh, gel... God, is it... It's gel tip, isn't it? He basically gifted a bunch of subs. So you may have a sub that you didn't previously have. So that means... I've got the little beer mugs you can use as badges. I got sub badges. I've got the moist emote. That said, when I have a chance, I mentioned that my work is just friggin' insane. Uh, when I have a chance, I absolutely am going to add some in the where you can unlock them for 24 hours using channel points. So, and then when eventually they might actually oh i don't know make them active for followers i'm going to uh i'm gonna make follower emotes for sure but i have to be in i have to be a, in good standing after 60 days of this and i have not been on here for 60 days yet did i actually finish the leaves <laughs> i thought there would be more Maybe I'm, maybe there aren't any more. Maybe I'll make this for these, whatever these thingies are that are stuck in the, uh, in the moss. I keep looking, I swear to God, I thought I had more. All right. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, I didn't realize there were more. They have bit, they have bit badges. I don't remember if I... Oh, maybe it maybe I didn't find them yet. I have no doubt they're probably you're probably right. I'll make some of you know what that'd be fair. Make some of them accessible that way. Come to think of it. Let's see how many of you my channel. I'm not sure what that one is. But if uh, there's also, if I get enough of you chatting at once, I can also unlock more VIPs. I'm not horribly worried about that because I haven't used up all the VIPs I have yet. So, all right. So on those other leaves I painted, I think I want to go with a bit of a yellowish highlight. Mm. I, a lot of times when I do highlighting of things, I'll actually take the color I just used and I'll add another color to it. A lot of times white, obviously. But in this case, I'm going to add some yellow into that um, liney green. And you're right, I'm not even going to use the leaf green. Irony is ironic. Oh, the pink, yeah, the pink. Oh, the pink frog was a thousand bit. 
I'll tell you what, I get a big kick out of the fact that um, I was on Michael Mortar's stream earlier today, and there were people using the moist team hope for mine. We have invaded his stream with it. Best part, I told Michelle that somebody had, uh, that somebody gifted her a sub. And, uh, because she is one of the biggest abusers of the word moist out there. I mean, we're all terrible abusers of it. And, uh, so she'll be happy to know that she'll get access to it. Because <laughs> somebody gifted her a sub. And he gifted that sub, sub so that I could unlock more emote slot, uh, another emote slot. So I will see if I can find, yeah, I will see if I can, I'm going to see if I can find that. What the heck was that? It's for, bit, oh, it's for bitch cheering. Well, there'll be a couple of people here for sure that they cheer all the time. That I'm sure will unlock them. I said I really want I really want access to the follower ones though. I want ones where you guys just follow and you get emotes. I got a bunch of ideas. Some of them I said some of them thanks to you guys come for you. Let's see. I'm gonna oh I'm gonna look yeah. It, wait, is this the one you did, Ultra, uh, Ultra Squid? Or was this an idea that somebody had? Because if this one you did, I will absolutely put this up. Oh, is that? Yeah, that is you. All right, I'm sharing this. <clears throat> that thing is kind of scary, though, now. <laughs> Holy mackerel. All right, guys, check this out. Not this, but wait till I get back to it. Check that out. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. That is awesome. I see what you mean, though. Yeah, you could you could go and definitely do some more highlighting on the uh, on the bark, but it's not bad. I see. I definitely see variation in here. So you could bump it up a little more. That is. That's why I'm glad I stream. I get people to do this. <laughs> Send me pictures that inspire me further. Love it. I love it. All right, let's shut that off and go back to my desk. I know, isn't that? That is cool. Okay, Master, I can see you not painting the Bob a loser. Hey, 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 Dio. Cut him some slack. He'll get it done. Remember, you can be, remember that, well, hey, you know, you could just ban him. We could drop a ban hammer on him. Sorry, I said, I just want some, like, yellowish tips to these leaves. That's a vine. I think I'm going to go and I'm going to add a little bit of yellow into these, too. Just because I feel like they're a little blended in with this Spanish moss type stuff. So I'm going to add a little bit of this yellow color into these leaves. Just to give them a little bit of difference. Yeah, because that's really kind of blending in. I don't want to do that. This is supposed to be uh, very colorful. Oh, Brent, oh. <laughs> he keeps coming back. Brent keeps coming back, and I don't know when he comes back. Let's see. If you need, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Kermit said, if he needs inspiration to paint red stuff, and I'm your guy. He's basically painting a whole army of blood ravens, and they're coming out very good. I actually have helped him. He had a couple of my commissions that I've done in more recent memory. 
uh, were a couple of his Blood Raven leaders. So the ones that probably had like ridiculous details and such. I really appreciate being part of your army. Um, although in my case, who's got two thumbs and a box of, uh, and, and the, oh God, the beast snagger box. And that would be me. <laughs> I am so glad I managed to snag a box, box of the beast snagger since, uh, orcs are my thing. I love orcs. Uh, I think they're, they're the most fun. They're some of the most fun to paint. So, Brem, I think I saw that the whole thing we said, you, what was it? Your vision? Let's see if I can go back to it. Uh, don't, I assume it's, I don't have the patience or the eyesight for painting me. My eight-year-old saw my sister. Ho Your sister's hobbies for happiness. Oh, I didn't even realize that. <laughs> Do mini stream. Now he wants one. Wanna something? I, yeah, I get the whole patience thing, although I think that the ever awesome Ann Forrester, who I freaking watch religiously, uh, she, um, she said, it's not about patience. If you really love painting minis, it doesn't, you, you don't, it doesn't require patience. You'll just enjoy it. And when you paint me, pay me to paint you one. <laughs> I do do commissions. Uh, although right now I have a bunch of commissions. Mostly I've been given armies right now rather than single minis. So my uh, commission table is kind of full. But if people get single minis, I can always squeeze those in. I'm going to go back. I'm going to realize. I'm going to sit. The, I keep telling myself the dif difference between a good mini painter and a great mini painter is... The amount of times you mess around with it. So if you see like little things like this that you're not happy with. I want to bring that shadow back a little bit. Go back and do them. Because I feel like I've sort of lost a bit of the center. The center lines. But, Bram, don't worry about the... As for the eyesight, you see these? You see these? <laughs> Guess who else doesn't have the eyesight for this hobby either anymore? Actually, what I really wear 99% of the time... That's so cool. That's why I'm making one via resin that he can make his own. A dragon, that is. Oh, that'll be awesome. No, that's... You're a good... You're, you're a good parent. Um, that's fantastic. I'll tell you what, if he does paint it, if he does paint it, can you get pictures of it and post them somewhere and link them here? Because I would love to see what he does. I said, I love kids so much. I mean, they're the next generation. Get them started young on painting. Why not? So I'm going to do the same thing on these. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to them. These two leaves down here. Just for a little variety. Oh, I knew I saw more of these. Oh, there's more right there. So there's some here, and there's some actually up there, and I think these are the ones I was think kept missing. They don't quite have the bright green on them. Actually, no, wait a minute. I think this right here is another flower, and I missed it. I thought they were just leaves. Well, shoot. We're going to, we're going to see, oh, actually, I should have the color still on my palette. I have a wet palette, so. Who's complaining about this? This space, somebody is literally blind. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here, I will link this. And I will put it on screen.
the that's it. I don't want to do that picture. I want the overall. There we go. I want the overall. And also keep in mind this is a new paint. Bunny is a brand new painter, so um she hasn't been doing this very long, but I think this is very good considering she hasn't been doing this long and her colors are so I love the colors on this. There we go. That's her spirit of the forest. I hope Theraval picked up on that, by the way. I hope he responded. Okay, there we go. I want to do these. We're going to... Uh, do a bit of these yellowish highlights. Yellow-green highlights. No hiding. You did a great job, and you should be proud of what you did. Community always needs more people, and... No, you did good. And also, you she she used color sh you know the color shifting paint, so I can actually pick it up. There's like some purple in here. So very cool. Although you know what, if Theraval didn't f did Theraval actually find and like that this post, I hope, because if not, I'm gonna tag him <laughs> so he make we make sure that he sees it. I don't wanna do that. Uh, back to this. <laughs> Wait, that should have been right. That should have been... It should... If it doesn't work, no, it does work. I know people were doing it, right? Yeah, people were doing it. There you go. Boom. <laughs> and then I got like said, there's like some weird bumpy things like that don't look like bark. Like this bumpy thing here and that bumpy thing there. I'm still not really sure what to do. Oh, yeah, that's right. If you put the flipping dots, dot, dot, dot in, it does. It screws up, it, it screws up the uh, commands. And I'll tell you what, I am notorious for putting in the dots and everything. So don't feel bad. I've messed that command up so many times. All right, back to highlighting the leaves. Maybe one is starting to die off here. So I'm gonna make it, try to make it a little more yellow. God, it's so good to see so many people. I, I, I'm so happy tonight. He usually said, Monday nights, I usually feel a pretty chill nights where I don't have a lot of people and I'd probably talk more about what I'm actually doing. Well, no, well, don't you know banning Dio is just kind of sort of the end thing to do right now? <laughs> And he actually requested that I make this command. Although you can be, you can you can ban anybody in chat. It's a it's a it's a general command as an at you know at whoever. He likes it for some reason. I'm not really sure why he likes it, but banning Dio is just kind of kind of his thing. Except for, except for um, V. V, V or Vligger Dragon. 
absolutely insist that she will not participate in this, uh, in the Bandio uh, uh, fad. <laughs> she has, I believe you have unbanned Dio as a command. I think it's brilliant too because it's actually a sponsorship uh, thing so people can find him. <laughs> no. Oh, I am so happy right now. I am so happy that but see, I kept it open. So it's not necessarily, you don't have to target Dio. It can be anybody. I mean, say Kevin banned me, so. I think, well, I got it here. All right, so those are mostly, oh, nope, I got one more set of leaves. I want to do that, the ones in, oh, no, that's a flower. Are there any leaves actually in there? I don't think so. All right, so that's a flower. I think my flower color was this over here. Don't mind me. I know I don't have a palette cam. I suppose I could shove my... Wait, I can see the edge of my palette right here. I suppose I could shove it more in view. But I tend to start whacking it. Oh, don't worry, don't, don't worry, Brem. Actually, it's also a thing of like the, it's the, um, it's the pyro clubbers. Uh, where this joke really came from. It's like, I'm part of like, I call like three groups of, of streamers. We've got the Goblins of Mordor. I'm part of, I'm one of Michael Mordor's, uh, patrons. So I'm technically one of the goblins. Actually, I'm a goblin supreme commander, and I'll get to that in a minute. Um, I'm also in the Pyro Club, which is a bunch of streamers uh, from all over. It's a great place to hang out. I'm going to probably have to hit this with a couple coats. And what was it that? Oh, and I like to say I am part of the of club CG Mini Painting. If you guys don't know Jen and Chris, you absolutely should. Great people. And I got to know Chris playing D&D, &D actually, because he's <laughs> he was in a pod. Yeah, Mini Mommy! Mini Mommy is one of the CG mini painting crew. Uh, I got to know Chris, actually, because he was on Murder Hobo Wink uh, in doing the campaign for a while there. And I joined up with the campaign, so. That is not red enough. Crap, crap, crap. Catmaster, let's play in front of me, says, you're next. <laughs> Well, I'm going to base coat this. i got to add white to it anyways. Because I'm not sure if I'm digging this color. This is going to be tricksy ixy because I got this. This is why, actually, it's not always great. Even though I can get my brush in there, I didn't really think too much about the fact that I can't really see in there as well. I'm pretty sure, looking at this now, it's a flower. Because they go around in the circle. I don't see any, I don't see any through there, so... Maybe it's like this one here where it's only half the flower. But and I looked it up. I did notice people do paint this as a flower, so it looks like I have to go in and fill some of these uh great. I had paint on there. Fill some of those spots. Cause I think I see sparkles. 
I went over and tried to hide all the sparkles, but oh look, there's more mushrooms or something in there. Goody. You always take your minis and kind of flip them over and such and look at them this way. Because then you might, you'll actually find things that you didn't necessarily find before. I think that's it, actually. Okay, that's it. And then I paint the center. I'm thinking at some point, I probably have to get the Discord info for uh, the Pyro Club and put it and add it to the bot. Because I know people are welcome to it. So my goal is to bring all the groups together. Bring all mini painters together. That would be, that's my goal. Add a little bit of yellow to that. Okay. Maybe dig out a little white. Crimson said, I'm one of those weirdos who knew Carol. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Crimson is one of those weirdos who knew me before I started doing this. Um, well, actually, I'd like to say that whether I really intended or not, I built have been building an audience for this for, for years between joining all those discords and things. I mean, I didn't join them with the intention of this. In fact, I wasn't, this wasn't even an idea at the time I made most of, uh, made my friends before streaming. I've known Crimson for a quite a while now. Let's see, Brem, I'm one of those weirdos that never knew Twitch existed till Allie told me to come watch her her, her steak stream. <laughs> steak stream? Steak stream. Mmm, that sounds yummy. Yeah, Kevin and I do, uh, we staff at an anime con together. Uh, we paint minis together. We hang out. Mostly I see you at the con. Well, that was before. Now mostly I see you painting. <laughs> and, and... And, actually, come to think of it, Kevin, I'll also see you at some point on Tuesday nights when we resume that game. So, yes, Breck, I probably know, actually, I've probably known you and Kevin about the same amount of time since, I'm trying to remember, it, it goes back so far, I mean, how long is, I mean, how long is AAC, and this is only really for me finding things, and how, OGC is what, like, we left off on Sweet 16, so it was like 18 years ago. So I've probably known you at least that long. 2006 was the first AAC. Yeah, is that when I met you? Was it AAC that I met you? Or was it sooner? I mean, I want to say it was AAC. The AAC, AAC stands for Another Anime Con, which I think was a great name. Uh, and it is. It's an anime. Now, I'm not... <coughs> yeah, that's right, Sprack. You met us at... O you, that's right. You met me at OGC. Um, and, yeah, I think Kevin met me at, at AAC. Kevin is like the head of security and his annual line is, it's almost a broken record. His annual line is, is I need more security. I need more people. If anybody in the New England area wants to help us out, <laughs> help out Kevin, 
We are always looking for security people. Um, it's funny, but said it's funny because I'm not like I will. I do watch anime, but I'm not like hugely into it like you know some people are. Um, I don't cosplay. Uh, especially when I go there. I mean, if I'm at the con, I'm busy running Artist Alley in the vendor room. So I really don't want to dress up. I want to be in something comfortable. But yeah. This proves my husband's point. I'm too young. 18 years ago, I was 12. <laughs> what does that make you 30? Wait. Does that make you 30? Yes, if you work security, you get a red shirt. He's absolutely right. If you're staff, you get yellow. Honestly, the red ones are better than the yellow ones. Just the yellow ones are good for visibility. We have not had anybody die, though. You know, we've not anybody really been red shirted at AAC. I'm going to paint these things orange because why not? I don't even know what color they're supposed to be. But why not? I've been making stuff up on this the whole time. The ferns I kind of went and did a little research on. And the mushrooms I kind of did a little research on. But honestly, the flowers are totally made up. It's a fantasy piece. And I really like the orange. I wanted to make something orange in this. I don't know why. I mean, I've got those which are kind of orange. I don't use orange that much in my work. Probably because I use a lot of purple. And the opposite color of purple on the color wheel that's complementary is yellow, not orange. Also, my list of things to buy is I do still want to get a color wheel. I keep saying that. It's a matter of I got to go out. I'm an idiot, though. I should have just gone to Joanne's Fabrics. It was right next to the right next to the um, Queen's Gambit. <laughs> I should just stop there and pick one up when I'm at the Queen's Gambit next. We we think we have a date, by the way, those of you who are in New England uh, and somewhere near Methuen, Mass. We might have a date for the next painting. Uh, uh, afternoon uh, it's, it's just got to be confirmed so you know it's not set in stone but um uh, I have to look it up I wrote I did actually put it on my calendar because now I like need a calendar I think it's a 20 yep yeah. so the next date tentatively is August 22nd at one o'clock. Get that sprack because you should come visit us there and paint minis with us. La, la, la. I think I like it. You know what? There's something down here, and I think I'm going to paint it orange, too. It's got a similar shape, so why not? They're kind of... We can kind of call them mushrooms, right? If, you guys, and if, I, get, if I ever end up... Or any of us end up in northern Kentucky or Cincinnati, let me know. I'll have my husband whip up one shot Dean game. Ugh. I, I wish I had like a reason I could say I'd ever go to those places. You know, I'll never say never. Um, but right now, the only places I really I get to places that have conventions at them. But it's funny. I have I don't know if I've ever been to Cincinnati. Oh, I've been close by. Actually, when I drive out to Gen Con, I drive through Ohio. So, 
Um, Northern Kentucky. I've probably, I've I've been through Kentucky. Usually on my way to Florida. When I was a kid, we do a lot of um. My parents and I, we would, and my brother, of course, we go. We spend two weeks going somewhere in this great country of ours. And so I've been to Disney World a bunch of times and seen most tourist attractions east of the Mississippi. Isn't Cincinnati's motto, hey, at least we're not Cleveland? Probably. Keep debating what to do, those things. Those could be more mushrooms. Because they don't look like grapes. These look like grapes. Those don't look like grapes. So I gotta highlight this. So they actually, it's sort of, they sort of built a, um, the beginnings of a triad that work, these work well together. Let me see if I can get a hold of them. So I started with Numeria Rust, and I think I'm going to highlight it, this Cavalier Orange. So, I was going to say, what is everyone else doing out there? Everywhere, it's like, there's a lot of people that are working. And I said, I, by the way, for the record, I'm a lurker, so don't feel like, you know, you're not wanted. I love lurkers. And it's in my fondest wish that maybe you guys who are lurking are all painting minis or something. Or, or hobbying. Because that's one of the things. I want to inspire people to paint minis think it's in my humble opinion I think it's one of the greatest hobbies out there you're playing Minecraft V oh I've got a so we had actually uh, Crimson come think of one of Crimson's security crew actually run something called Minecraft Mondays normally maybe you should go raid him tonight <laughs> Shock him when, because he like, usually he doesn't really have many people on there. <laughs> It'd be really funny to show up with like 20 people to go raid him. He's a great guy too. Let's see. I'll just get, I'm putting socks away so I'll have room. When my Bones 5 arrives. When is your Bones 5 going to arrive, by the way? Do you have a, do you have a date? I mean, I assume you have the shipping label. Do you have the actual date of when it's coming? I have to wait till my best friend gets the rest of his garbage out of the closet upstairs. Right now, my Bones 5 is still sitting down here with me in its in boxes, in its original boxes. There we go. Wednesday. Awesome. Well, I hope you do get it Wednesday. And then you won't visit my stream because you'll be sitting there swimming in your bones. How many? All right, so how big? Do, so we won't go into expense here unless you want to say how much you spent on your bones. But uh, how big is the box that's coming and how many boxes? I'm beginning to think I ordered like the least amount of... Actually, that's not true. I know people who did ordered... Uh, heck, I, we all know somebody who ordered one thing on the Goblin Channel. He ordered literally just the um, gemstone dragon. And nothing else. It's like, how do you do that? How do you show that level of restraint? Because I certainly can't. My box was about... I have a ship box and I had about 12 pounds of minis. 
My best friend has about 14 pounds of minis in a ship box, too. Two boxes, just shy of 40 pounds. Oh, my God. Yeah, all right, so, so everything's coming in one box. Oh, so yeah, I don't even know how much the pirate ship weighs. The 12 pounds does not include the pirate ship. But had an agent acquire the right... Oh, you... Oh, I'm so glad... Oh, that's good. I'm glad you got the Rocky Brush Holder. Because I, um... I... Yeah, I, as soon as I saw them, like, give me... When I... It's, at some point, I will have a desk that will show up here. We have a futon and a chair. I need the desk. I've whined about the fact that the desk seems to be the last thing that's going to show up. I made all the grabby hands at the Rocky Brush Holder. Though, you know what? I friggin... You know, we know one of us is going to get Catmaster a disapproving hand. That was my thing. I had to go... But they reopened the Pledge Manager. I probably shouldn't say that to anybody. But they reopened the Pledge Manager. And I have, for some reason, I forgot to put a disapproving hand down in my order. Do you want a finger? <laughs> oh, that sounds terrible. I was like, someone should send you one. <laughs> I'll give you the finger, man. Oh, by the way, at some point, I want I want e e emote uh, for. I'm dropping my brush here. I've got a lot of ideas for emotes. I just need enough subscriptions to unlock them all. At least now I got two slots. I said I will do the I will do the bits ones. It'll, hey, it said I know a couple people are working on unlocking the bits ones. Right now I'm painting these. I'm gonna paint them as mushrooms, like all the other little mushrooms I have around. Yeah, I did. I just dropped my brush. Although this time I didn't drop it on the floor. <laughs> Is that a free offer from Catmaster V? I haven't told you where I want the finger yet. You're keeping track, Kevin, huh? I mean, it's not hard to keep track. It does say you just have to add it because it's unless you have your set to just go by minute by minute. As I said, I want a bunch of stupid stuff that people can just post in chat. <laughs> and I was going to say, is anyone else watching the Olympics? <laughs> I wonder if Kevin saw the opening to the Olympics, actually, because I thought of Kevin. By the way, I thought of you, Kevin, because um, I saw lots of pictures of the Tokyo Tower, a.k.a. the Eiffel Tower of Paris. Pa sorry, Eiffel Tower of Tokyo. Let's see. V Hubs is upstairs watching Olympics, but we aren't really paying that much attention. I'm a junkie because I just, I love all those weird, you know, all the sports we never see except for at the Olympics. So, you know, gym, well, I mean, we do see gymnastics once a year and such. Now that there's like an Olympic channel, I'm in all my glory all the time. But, um, but yeah, I, but the opening, if, uh, if you missed it, they honored, they honored the nerd herd by the, the music that played for the parade of athletes is all video game music. And I forget which one of the um, one of the blogs or the reporters that talk about anime actually had a play track list of all the songs. <coughs> but yeah, I've just I just for some reason I just I've always loved watching. I love pretty much I love most sports. I'm not really into boxing. Um. 
but I'm into a lot of others. So I think that's like the one sport I won't necessarily watch at the Olympics is boxing. I don't even know if they have boxing anymore as a sport. I haven't seen anything on it. I think they do. It's probably a week too, and that's probably I haven't seen anything on it. But also, when I was in uh, college and, and um, high school, I, w I did run track. So, so I always love to see you know track and field so featured. But then again, my parents, my parents like sports. And thank God, my dad had everything in the proper context, you know. He loves, he loves our local sports teams. Of course, I'm from New England. So that means you can all boo me because I'm a Patriots fan. Um... Boxing is a way to beat the crap. Well, you could say that about, like, the martial arts, too. Oh, yeah, one other thing, too, they did. It said, first of all, I saw the Tokyo, it's lots of pictures of the Tokyo Tower. Uh, it's obvious because you painted the Tokyo Tower uh, crimson. But then the, um, so it said, all the music for the Parade of Athletes, that was all video game music. And the little signs that they, that they are held up in front of each country were basically manga speech bubbles with the countries written inside. And I'm like, I'm so happy right now. Yes, they honored the nerd. So, I remember, I remember back at the last Olympics at the closing, they had, um, I think it was the prime minister. I think it was the prime minister dressed up as Mario to be part of the whole, to be part of the closing. Because when, during the closing, the future city does a whole bit about their city. Oh, technically it's the Triumph Tower. Okay, I thought it was the, okay, fine. I thought it was the Tokyo Tower. <laughs> Shows you what I know. I told you I wasn't as big into uh, Japan and anime as the rest of you guys. Oh, the Triumph Tower. Oh, the mini's the Triumph Tower. Okay, I get it. Lordy, what do I do next? I go to Disney World, right? Uh, what do I do next? I suppose I could, uh, I could start working on those antlers. Like I said, I was going to work on those antlers. I'm just seeing if there's anything else I want to work on. Of course, if I work on those antlers, then I can probably touch up some of those spots I'm seeing that have icy silver, which is bad. Okay, so I was right. The Tokyo Tower is the name of it. So just in case anybody wondered, my original tree colors were really this. So I started out with Phrasma Purple, and I added it to Dark Stone. So I have this purplish grayish color. Not totally purple. I wanted, I still want it to be sort of reminiscent, you know. I don't want it to be like screaming purple here. And then on the lighter colors, I added this Kraken Purple. Kraken! So I definitely want to do these lighter than the rest of it. They are antlers. I'm sorry, excuse me. This one thing about using hydrating with Coke is... Yep. It is eight. Wow! It is eight thirty already. I can't believe it's eight thirty already. How can it be eight thirty already? I've been doing this for an hour and a half. The devil, you say? Well, 
Well, this is cool. There's a whole bunch of people on tonight to raid, so that's good. Tis only oh, so you're oh, so you're in Central Time. <laughs> yeah, I got raided right at the beginning, so the first thirty minutes distracted me. That's possible. Yeah. Well, I find though. I mean, I really, I really enjoy painting. And there's a reason why I've been painting mostly on. I did have like a break in there where I sort of was a bit burned out on painting. I also like to think I wasn't totally like I I, I suddenly found myself in the possession of a bunch of people who wanted commissions, but I wasn't ready for it. And basically, I just sort of I don't want to say freaked out, but I I just sort of you know, was like, I didn't take anybody's money, you know, or anything like that. But it did, did sort of take up, and then it's like, it just, it got overwhelming to me, and I just did, I just never did them. I said, I didn't take anybody's money, so at least there's that. Um, so then a few years later, I was ready for it. And I picked up the brush again, and went back to it, and ever since then I haven't stopped and now I'm pretty busy I mean I still have my day job as I've mentioned I'm a graphic designer for a uh, for a print shop that does med tech and um, tech like high-tech computers and things components and labels and overlays uh, and I really do enjoy my job Although I do look forward to retiring at some point so I can uh, maybe do this full time. Either stream, paint, both. That is if I can still see at all. I'm just going through and touching up some of those spots that I saw. No, there's a good one right there. There's also spots that look like the primer mist. Now the bright side about that, the primer mist, it's likely you're not gonna even touch it anyways to knock the paint off the, the metal. So once you get it in there, it's probably not gonna go anywhere. One thing I'm definitely going to do before I'm done is I'm going to go over this whole thing and probably not on stream and I'm going to check out maybe add some more yellows and stuff into some of these places that I base coated but it looks like I need some more stuff and maybe put it under a better light. I mean I actually work. Oh my god Gareth you finally showed up. Yay! I was talking about you too. So Gareth, just so you, I don't remember, you, oh yeah, you were on the other day, so you know about the moist emote, right? So I believe you're a subscriber, unless it's dropped yet. <laughs> but uh, I said, yeah, you get this, said, there's a, there's a little beer, ba uh, little beer um, subscriber badge, and there's the, uh, the moist emote. Because if anybody needs the moist emote, it's you. You and Michelle. You both need it. <laughs> I oh, by the way. By the way, Gareth, you know what? I got a big thrill because it wasn't me who used it on there first. But somebody used it on Mortar Stream today. And I was like, oh my god, I'm so happy to see it on there. The moisty, the moisty moats are invading his stream. I think that is the best. Moist. <laughs> How are you? Are you are you streaming later tonight? By the way, because we need to give Mister Hered Hredmar. That's not his real name, but we need to uh, give him a shout out. 
Wow, there's enough people in here I gotta type it in. So, if you don't follow him, when we're done, oh wait, no, when we're done with this, you're not, that's right, when we're done with this, he's not going to be on yet. He goes on fairly late, yeah. Of course, I would love to do shout outs. Actually, come think of it, you're on the same time that you are on Wednesdays, right? It's just that I stream earlier on Mondays than I do on Wednesdays. I have to. Uh, I also do, because I don't have enough stuff to do. Uh... Yeah, because I don't have enough stuff to do in my life, I also do a Starfinder podcast. And we record on Wednesday evenings until about 8 o'clock. So, needless to say, it doesn't really work for me to start a stream at 7 o'clock. If I'm going to do this as a bring this to ReaperCon... I need to make sure that every little thing, that there's no silver bits showing. It's probably boring as hell. So I'll depend on my sparkling personality to carry me through, right? Thank God, I said, thank God I have you guys out there to chat with. And I know you guys are out there. It said, even, even if you're working, I know someone out there is listening. And that really matters a lot. I just hope you're all doing hobbies. I hope you're all mini painting or doing some other hobbies if you're not here chatting. No, whatever you're doing, it's all good. I'm just happy you're here. I'd like to do early miss. Oh, yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah, so Gareth says I'd like to do early myself. I just plan as, as if I have my girls and 9.30 is guaranteed they're asleep. You Oh, by the way, as I said, I was talking about you earlier. You know, you and your... When you did the ferns orange, that was like a big, you know... That was a big inspiration to me. And that's why I went hunting for, like, orange ferns. Um, but I wanted the yellow in it, too, because the tree is purple. But let's say I do have the orange in there. I added these tonight because I just couldn't think of anything else to color and paint them. I hadn't, didn't actually really go research what kind of what those look like. But I'm like, hey, orange will look good. And it's a fantasy figure, right? <laughs> Am I right? <coughs> You know something you did? You did inspire the muse. Well, the muse, the muse in my brand is not just about, it's not just about, um, you know, me inspiring others. Although that's part of it. I want to inspire people to paint. Um, but it's also about you all inspiring me. So, and you guys do. Um, you may, I know you don't always realize it, but I do pop on the Goblins of Mortar and check out people's work on the Discord. Even if I don't, even if I don't post anything, I, I'm still enjoying it and what everybody does. Although, if you see a little purple heart, that was likely me coming by and, and liking your piece. Because purple... Purple spiration. You know what? That's another one. I need to do something with purple for an emote too at some point. So I'm listing, like coming up with all these ideas. For emotes. So. Oh, there's something. I want to get this right. <gasps> That's a frog! Hey, Gareth! Did you know there's a frog on this thing? At least I think it is. It looks like a frog. Because there's his legs and eyes. 
I wonder if you knew that, because I kept looking at it this way, thinking, oh, it's a... Oh, right. Oh, my God. I forgot to talk about that. The Goblin Supreme Commander. So, I mentioned I'm part of the Goblins of Mortar, and Michael Mortar put out a painting challenge. It's 56 weeks, and he's got every eight weeks... You, you, you get a task for every eight weeks and you change tasks. And it starts out easy with like, what, two minis, I think, a week? It goes all the way up to four. And then by the time on the final week, you got four with a diorama and backstories. So, so I, I started it out and I got partway through and I got to a year ago, a year ago last January. And I had so much work on my plate because I had somebody who gave me basically 30 minis to do. Um, for He was going to go to Gary Con, and then they canceled Gary Con because of the pandemic. So he really loves the minis, thank God for that. But sadly, they never got used. Hopefully, next year, they will. He's still planning on going and running the scenario. So I dropped out for a while there because I just couldn't handle all of it. But then I got the idea in my brain about it doing a, you know, 365. And things had settled down to a degree. I didn't have like what I have on my plate now. And I just started, I realized, you know, if I just start painting something like 10 o'clock at night and pick something that's like really easy to do, then I can, you know, I can just bang some, some of the stuff on my shelf of shame out. And I can try to do this 365 challenge. And I realized when I was doing that, that not only am I doing that, I could also finally get back to doing the uh, Goblin Army Challenge, the Goblin Paint Challenge. So I got back into it. And I finished it this last... I finished everything the past week. And I posted the final results on Saturday night. So... It just took a while for me to get, I, I basically it was a super expanded post. So I, I, because what I decided to do for back, that backstories, I basically took the eight weeks of each rank and I would tell a story, which essentially, essentially was the story behind the minis. Um, and it, I thought that was actually, it made it more fun to do. And I told it to tell the last part and I took three pictures instead of one for the last part. So, it was a whole lot of fun. Um, I always, I do say, you know, challenge yourselves. Uh, especially, you said, if you're like me and you get like 1,500 unpainted mitties, challenge yourself to get some of them done. But make sure you pick ones that aren't too hard to do. And I mean, basically, I did the um, the Rusty Dragon Inn. I painted that up, which was part of the final uh, portion. I painted the Reaper Graveyard because a lot of them have individual pieces that don't take long to do. So if you do them at a rate of one a night, you will eventually get through it. And it didn't take that long. I mean, I've got both of them done. And then the the period in between those, the eight weeks in between those... I pulled up a bunch of uh, monsters, like I had dinosaurs and I had, oh Lord, um, I painted the one of the mimics, I painted, yeah, aberrations, I painted infernals, I'm trying to remember what else, I had something else in there, aberrations, I think I said aberrations, because that's what mimics and the, uh, the givering, oh my God, the givering mouther. So many eyes on that Reaper Gibbering Mouther. I don't want to ever see. You know what? Cap was all about the rivets. Right now, I think I'm about the um, the Gibbering Mouther. So, so Gareth, does this mean you're gonna go back to your tree and add the frog on it? I did not realize that was a frog until this second. <laughs> What are you going to do? Are you go I assume you're going to go have to go back and now paint it. I assure you, I'm going to go back to it, and I will paint that frog. Yes, you did. Now, oh, God. 
That's it. My brain is starting to melt down. It's getting near the end of the stream, so... Oh, it was about, um... I think it was about rivets again. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I call it a loss at this point. Oh, I remember was. Yeah, by the way, I have another one for you if you want, if you love painting repetitive things, Capmaster. Go look up Reaper's Gi Gibbering Mouther. <laughs> It's AK. No, it's not the Eye Beast. The Eye Beast is the actual, like, they're, they're taking a beholder. Uh, but look up there. If you put it in on Google, Gibbering Mouther, that mini will absolutely. See, I can't. I have such the drop. Catmaster, I thought you had, like, the dropsies. I have, I have it worse, and I have no excuse. <laughs> so, um,. So, yeah. Do that and then come back to me and tell me how much you like eyes and teeth after that one. Because that one, oh my god. You thought you had a bad with the rivets. Six hours later, I'm still painting eyes and teeth on that thing. That was one of the few minis I did not get done in one night. I think I got to about 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, I can't finish this. I have to go to bed. I got to go to work. I know I'm used to not, you know, sleeping, but <laughs> not. But at two o'clock, I I say uncle and go to bed. I got fifteen minutes. I don't know what to do. Oh yeah, I was gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna go over that because there's a green smooch there. Oh, see? Oh, okay, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's, I say go back, if you haven't finished it, if you have finished I'd say go back and do it. Go back and paint the frog. We can be the only two people who realize there's a frog there. Don't tell anybody else. <laughs> That's amazing. Usually I'm not that I don't know. I usually fail my perception checks when it comes to that stuff and figuring out what these lumps are. But I just had, that's what I meant by earlier. Turn your minis around, you know, flip them around so that you see, see all the angles, because that's the sort of thing sometimes you have to figure out when you flip the mini upside down. There's my tip of the night. I'm going to start this on the back, right there, right above this cluster of um, whatever they are, fungus things. That you probably thought was part of the bark, because I thought it was part of the bark. Maybe I'll have to bring this thing to work and paint him instead of some of the things i got to work on. So I'm going to start lightening up this, uh, the antlers. I'm debating whether or not I want to add, like, foliage to it. I've seen people do it, and I kind of like it. If I do do it, though, I'm going to add some paint to it. Maybe. The Faceless Horror. Oh, maybe it is called The Faceless Horror. It's, I don't know, it's it basically Ultra Squid. It's, 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 as I said, I, I've actually, when I Googled it, I Googled it as Gibbering Mouther, and it does come up. So, but it, for that's probably exactly the one it is. I mean, basically, what other mini... Does Reaper have any other minis that have, like, a hundred eyes on them? Let's see. Yeah, Kevin, that's it. 
Oh, that's nasty. I don't know who made that, but I will share this with the class because it's this many, but this is just so you know, this is not mine. This is somebody else's. I did mine the more the uh I did mine red. Hey Catmaster, where are ya? <laughs> Pardon me while I do this. I wanna see chap. Alright, so did you see this? If you thought the rivets are bad and actually he didn't like I see here, those are eyes right there. You know, those are eyes. Those are, he did not paint a lot of these eyes. Those are all eyes in there. They're, they're there. He, he skipped them. Or he did something. Yeah, too many teeth. You could drive. Well, I think the teeth are not as bad. It's the eyes. And if you want to, like, I literally put pupils in every single, well, I don't know if it's every single one. Oh, that must be cool. You did yours in blue? I said, I would, for some of my monsters, for the monsters, I tend to like to be a traditionalist. You want to know something? Ann Forrester says, if you want to learn to do eyes, actually do that piece. And look up, um, look it up online. There's ways to make your, make it so much easier. That's why I do eyes the way I do them, because it's just, it's so much easier to start with them. Um, and only and not worry too much about precision and I'll say it again because it, it's it's always worth repeating I paint the whites for I don't paint the skin I paint the whites to the eyes first then I paint I either I'll put a dot in there you can also draw a line um, that's the pupil you only use black and then um, then you draw you do like eyeliner so basically you draw a dark dark skin tone so if it's Caucasian, you use brown. If it's a black person, you use black. Uh, if it's like a blue skin, you use dark blue, so on and so forth. And you basically do eyeliner. And then after that, you paint the skin, the flesh tone, and then you leave a little bit of that line showing. But it's so much easier to do it that way. And keep your hands together. Uh, I'm going to get this, kick this guy off for now and go back to my work my table so i think it makes it it just makes it so much easier to do it that way you can also do it where you paint the entire pupil you paint the pupil with color black oh, okay black and you paint the entire thing and then you can put white along the sides so i think you can do eyes cap master i think it just takes practice and i know you probably do them at the beginning of the day when your hands are not quite so bad, not as shaky. Um, you know what, Kevin? I don't know. I think you're kind of a jerk. <laughs> you, I know why you gave me that Justicar or Judas Car, however you pronounce it. The one from the Indominus box set. I know why you gave that to me. Because it didn't have a helmet on. It has eyes. I'm like, the guy who gave me this and put it together hates eyes. So now I know why he gave it to me. Because it has eyes showing. And that's okay. Because they don't actually bother me to do. This is just a start. I'm probably going to have to sit. I'm Sally. I'm going to probably have to do a bunch of this off stream to finish. Catmaster, I have so much faith in you. You're a good painter. You, you don't sell yourself short there. I'm pretty sure you can do eyes. I'm going to sign that to you. Do some eyes. Do something with some actual eyes in it. And do it, well, I mean, find your, that's just a suggestion. You can always find your own way. But you're too good a painter not to do it. No, no, no. Push your limits. 
I think I think you can do it. You're a pretty good painter from what I can see. So I think you can do it. And you know what happens if, if it just goes wrong? You just paint over them. Don't make your paint too thick. You know that. Keep your paint thin and then you can just keep going over it a bunch of times and you won't actually, you know, you won't actually kill, uh, you won't kill it. You won't, you won't destroy your texture and have too much paint on there. Use it. Oh, the other thing is, of course, use a small brush or at least a brush with a really good point on it. That's actually probably the biggest key. I cheated. I said I painted one too. I cheated though. I left it eyes and shadow. Yeah, you cheater. No, it's okay. You can cheat if you want. Use BS, magic BS in a bottle so you cheat all the time. Which for anybody who doesn't know what that is, that's, that's um, contrast paint. <laughs> Magical BS in a bottle. Right, Kevin? <laughs> Contrast paint is fun. I think it's more than just magical. It is magical. But I think it's more than magical. I think it's 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 got a lot of interest I think it's got a lot of interesting purposes to it. Yep. Oh my god, it's three minutes up. Alright, so I gotta figure out a raid. It is three minutes until nine o'clock. It is time for me to sign off. I so appreciate all those of you who followed me tonight. I appreciate the bits, although I believe the main bits person, uh, he wandered off a while ago because he had to go. Uh, I thank you all for being here though. I really appreciate it. Um, I'll mention again, I'm trying to get to, as I said, there's no time limit on this, on this giveaway. So I'm not like trying to get 50 subs in a month. Whenever I get 50 to 50 subs, all subscribers will be entered, uh, into, into a, uh, drawing and you'll be getting a mini from me. Either I paint or I do as a commission. Oh, Catmaster wants to see the Kraken before we go. I really need Kraken music for this. Do <laughs> oh, be annoying, be annoying all you want. There you go. And he's swimming across. I love this bass, by the way, he comes on. By the way, no, annoying is annoying is Pete the Hydrator and his nine million and by the way, no, I love him and I I, I think it's hilarious. Him with his nine million hit the hydrate buttons. <laughs> anonymous was not on whoever's doing it anonymously and having me drink. I did not see them on tonight, so So I'll see, who am I oh let's see. Maybe I'll go raid Dr. Rhino. I know he's one of the like, happy little crew. I was thinking of raiding Minecraft Monday, but I think I'm going to go raid Dr. Rhino because I appreciate him for uh, suggesting uh, he raid. Well, he didn't raid me, but he was in a raid and I think he made the suggestion. So, wow, oh, I'm shutting apparently. So you all have a truly wonderful night. I hope you come back again to the Painted Hero Tavern and we can hang out and chat more and paint more minis. I'm on... Wednesday nights at 8.30 Eastern Time and Saturdays at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So early in the afternoon or morning or noon or night, wherever the heck you are in the world. And of course tonight I'm on from 7 till 9. So I hope you all have said have a fabulous evening. Uh, Monday is almost over. So there's that. And it was a real pleasure to talk to so many of you. All right, let's go reading. Let's go after Dr. Rhino, if I can see my keyboard.
All right. And of course, if you don't follow them, follows are free. So follow them when we get there. And don't forget to refresh.